Welcome to Standard Sensations. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to be doing a flower painting, one of my favorite things to do. But I'm going to do a swipe of color first and then add the flowers on. So I've got a 10 by 20 canvas in front of me with the white acrylic already ready to go. Now all my acrylic paints are mixed 50% the Sargent's Art Mixing Medium Pearlescent. Love this stuff. I highly recommend it. 50% of this with 50% acrylic paint and a little bit of water to get my consistency that I want. Everything you see me use for tools, cup, these little cups, stir sticks, my mixing medium of course, my butane torch, all that stuff you can find on Amazon and I will have links in the description. If you want to click on one of those links and buy yourself something, I will get a tiny commission on a gift card from Amazon to replenish some of my stock. So feel free to shop if you feel like it. And anybody new to my channel, please hit subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And of course, all the regulars, love you. Thank you so much for the thumbs up and the comments. Means the world to me. Words just can't say it enough. You guys are just awesome. Okay, let's start doing this. There is fireworks going off in the background a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't interrupt our video too much. Okay, let's start with some color. I'm going to put just a few different colors down and swipe it through. This one is the Arteza uh, Chromium Oxide Green. And you know what? I need to put my glasses on my eyes so I can see better. Give me two secs here to do that because I'm not going to be able to read what I wrote on my packaging. Okay. Getting old, what can I say? I'm going to put a little bit of yellow. This is Arteza's yellow. Yeah, lemon yellow. And I've got some of my poppy from my last video. I did Deco Arts poppy color. Very pretty. Let's see how much of that we can get out of there. Well, this one's a little bit thicker. Hold on a second. Let me just thin that out a little bit with some water. This is called Technical Difficulties. Hold on one second here. Because that was really... Let's just scrape it right off my canvas because I'm going to swipe it anyways. There we go. Thinned it out a little bit with water. It's all good. Okay. Now I've got also my ultramarine blue. I'm going to put that mainly across the top here. And my aqua green. a little bit. It's going to be a colorful painting. Can you tell? Okay, let's put some of my dioxazine purple. Love this stuff. Oh, those fireworks are pretty loud. Okay, I think we're going to need to do some Arteza Rose Matter as well. A couple areas here. I'll do a little bit more there. We'll do some fluorescent pink because it needs to have some bright pink in here as well. Arteza's Rose, which is a really pretty pink color. My bottle might be a little plugged. One sec, there we go. Okay. Is that enough color down? Let me do one more green. Let's do the Arteza's phthalo green as well. Okay, let's see if that's enough. Let's swipe that through. I got some paper towel already ready to go here. Move some stuff out of my way. Okay.
turn my paper towel over and go over this one more time. Perfect. Back over again just to get the end. Okay. Oh wow, that fireworks is really loud. I don't know how loud it's going to be on the camera for you guys, but what I'm hearing, extremely loud. Okay, I'm happy with that so far. So I give it a little bit of a torch. See if we have any cells happening here. Okay, now I do have some white sitting here with some silicone in it. I think I'm going to do that as well because not a lot of cells. There's a few starting to pop up, but not as many as I want. So I'm just going to put some white on a napkin here. Go this way. Go once more. Let's do that again. drip paint on my paper towel here, but that's okay. That's the fun of art, right? Making a little bit of a mess. Okay, let's see how that does with the torching. Okay, now to start the fun stuff. I think I'm going to first start out with some greens. You know what, I'm going to do a big one. I'm just going to put a little bit of green down here again. I know I just wiped it off, but it's just to start a little bit of grass. I'm going to do longer ones. What did I do with my water? There it is. Okay, I'm just going to swipe that green up a little bit in a couple different areas. Just to give me some guidelines of where I want to have some flowers happening. Okay, that's a pretty good start. Okay. Now this is my poppy orange. Gorgeous orange color, love it. I'm gonna do a little bit of white. Do I want to do with silicone? Well, let's try it. This has got two drops of silicone in it. We'll see how we like it.
Okay, I'll stop with those ones for now. Let's see. Do we want to do a blue flower? Why not? Right there and right here. I think we'll do one more right here. Okay, and with that blue, I'm going to do some yellow. This, by the way, is my favorite tool. Amazon, about $60, airbrush, cordless. Use it on almost all my videos. Love this machine. Okay, next color. Let's see. How about we do bright pink? Yes, bright pink. And with that, we'll do some Arteza Rose. We'll try that. I might want to add some weight in there, but we'll try that. That one I might have to fix. It went a little, went a little wonky on me. We'll see. You never know though, because as they sit and flow, they start taking a pattern of their own. So, okay, oranges, blues, pinks. I definitely need some green flowers too. Let's go with Arteza's pale green. Maybe right there too, and here. And with that, we'll do some, hmm, which one do I want to do? A blue? No, let's do some white. Okay, let's see how that does. Okay, I think I need to fix that guy a little bit with a little bit more of the green. These ones are really nice with the purple going in. It's okay, I'll add a little bit more green. Okay, now this one needs a little bit of help.
Hmm, I don't like what's happening there. Let me see if I can just fix that a little bit with my painter's knife and see if we can get something looking a little less muddy. Okay, let's leave that sit for a minute and see. Take some of my white off my table. Okay, we'll leave that for a minute and see. Those are all good. Okay, I think I need yellow. Just a couple of small ones. I think I'll be just about done. Yellow with a little bit of green, I think. Okay, let's blow these guys. That one needs more paint. This one's really pretty with the purple and the yellow there. Okay. <clears throat> now, I think I want to go with my darker green. I'm just going to put it on the table here with my lighter green. And I think a little bit of black. Just about done here.
Oops. <laughs> Throwing stuff around here. Okay. This one, it's got some really cool colors in it. I'm going to add a little detail. There we go. I think I have one more stem to do and we're done. That looks pretty good. <clears throat> now one of the girls at my work, Nazrina, really, really wanted to have some flowers. So there you go, Nazrina. These flowers, once they're dry, are coming your way. I hope you love it. There we go. Thanks very much for joining me, everybody. I hope you've hit subscribe and you will come back and watch another video. I'm sure Greg will be showing one of my favorites right after this. Please stick around, click on that, and watch that video too. Thanks, everyone.